My name's Jess Barnes. I'm a football coach for an under 14 girls team. I got into coaching um, through the Sussex Disability Football League. I spent, I say, many a year in hospital not being able to do anything really. It, it's giving something back as I've become not so able bodied. It's showing people that you can do something despite a disability. I didn't think football was really an option for me in terms of coaching, playing. It was just totally out of reach. It could be seen as a barrier that you're not going to be able to do the job properly. I'm lucky with the kids I've got. They don't see it as a barrier. They just see, to, to them, it's like, well, my coach has got sticks. And I think then it makes them look at a disability in a different way because they can see I'm doing it. So it's, it's, it is achievable. And I've always had a motto of it's not can't, it's how. We've got an absolute smashing bunch of kids and they're a very unconfident bunch of kids. And you just want to help them. It's a difficult age for them. They're, 14 is a very common age for girls to drop out of football. Just an arm around a child could be that, that I believe in you, you've got the confidence. I think it's really important at that age as they're growing into to young women and you're not just a coach, you're definitely a role model, but they really are a smashing bunch of kids. I, yeah, I love coaching them. It feels like I'm playing an important part in their growing up. The Project 500 is, I think, a very important time to be starting it really with football. What we're trying to do with coaches is get them together, to get them feeling they're not alone so we don't lose people. A support network for anything you're doing in life, I think, is really, really important. You can learn from your peers, people around you, that there there's other ways of doing things. I feel like you get what you put into it. If you put in a lot, you get a lot out. It makes you stronger. I've definitely become more mindful about um, conditions, how it affects people mentally, physically, and you're giving them people who've got disabilities that think that it's not able for them. And you can you can say, look, I can do it. Oh, Selene, she's very, very intelligent, very wanting to work and it's just going to be life changing again, taking her to the places that I go to and f things that you take for granted, like picking up cones. That could be the last thing that makes me stay in bed for a week because I'm so exhausted and can't do it. And it is, it's, it's part of me. You grow to love them very quickly, but they become really, really important. It's not just like a dog, really. It's just, yeah, it's, you can't, I can't describe what she means to me. We're not there to be to be loved and adored. We're help. We're there to help them achieve things. And if we do get that love and adoration, we'll take it. And let's say we are lucky that the kids that we've got are are very good. It just don't, never fails to make me smile. I might be tired. I might not be feeling well, but they can let you forget your problems. And yet, yeah, brings out the the kid in me that you want to play and you want to have fun.